So I know that there's quite some network enthusiasts who watch some of my videos and um, there's this particular kind of hyperbolic network that certain people seem to find quite pleasing. If I give a full rotation of it, you'll see how it kind of spirals in upon itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the chance to get one of these, or something very similar to this, for free. And it's a competition. So the first person that succeeds, I will, if you give me your address, I will 3D print and post you a hyperbolic network of this sort of type. Okay? So the contest is to find, using an online app, as I shall explain, it's something that anyone with an internet connection and a good browser can do. Um, you have to find three different rules that make networks like this. And I shall explain all that in a second, but if you follow these rules, you too can be a proud owner of one of these curly, self-intersecting, hyperbolic networks with all of their wondrous loveliness. So, um, good luck! Okay, so this is the part where I show you how easy it is to actually win this competition. So, um, I'm basically going to show you exactly how to win, okay? It requires a little bit of time and things like that, but basically I'll show you how to win. Um, so you start by going to my Wolfram Demonstrations website. I'll put the link for this in the description. Um, now from this website you can explore a variety of different rewrite systems and how they change networks. So it automatically loads upon this particular rule. So if you were interested in these systems you can just like pull this thing over time and see how the network changes over time. Okay? Very good. Um, we're interested in winning the competition, right? so what we want to do is not look at how one rule changes with time. We want to show how we want to look at how the structure changes with the rule. Let's set the time as a constant, say 250, and we'll make it 2D because that's faster to look at. And let's we've got to press this slow down button about 100 times because. It's based on Mathematica, and if we don't do this, then um, Mathematica will just go way too fast because there's so many rules in here. Anyway, there we are. You see it just evolving through and showing us pictures of all the different rules. Oh, and did you see that? My God. So just then, we just found one. It's truly fortuitous. It honestly wasn't planned. It turns out that it's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for right here. You see? You see that this is similar to the network I showed you before. Let's um, put it in 3D. Okay, we'll evolve it for some more time steps. Right, so it has all the characteristics that we're looking for. It has Let's rotate it around a bit. You see, it's very, very similar. I'm hoping I've got this far enough down for people to actually see. Um, it's very, very similar to the model I showed you. It has this kind of bunching up around the outside. It has this sort of self-intersecting thing. Um, it's basically growing hyperbolic space. These are the kind of things I want you to find, okay? so. Uh, this is one of these kind of curly hyperbolic rules. Now, excuse me for not being too scientifically rigorous. I know normally in a contest one should specify exactly and precisely what, what ought to be sought out. But I'm just going to say I want you to find things which look similar in a sort of qualitative way to the structure I just showed you, or to this. Um, and once you've done that, you just write down the rule, what in this case, 1645080, write down that rule, a notepad or something, and keep searching. 
once you've found three different rules like that to make different structures, but all have this similar kind of feature of looking kind of like this, then um, send it to me. And uh, if you send me three of them and you're the first one to do that, I shall push you back a um, 3D print of some lovely hyperbolic network, as I was just showing you. So here's this system run for a little less time step. You can see the rules at the top. Um, just to demonstrate to you, this is not like a kind of... Um, it's not like a kind of... Um, undefined project. Um, let me just show you another system with similar behavior, okay? So, I think there's one near here. If I go to 1994, uh, 864, it's hard to remember. Um, okay, it's not here. It's somewhere close to this. We go back a little bit. Oops, not backwards in time, backwards in rule. Okay. Wrong with me today. Um, come on, I know you're out there. There she blows, yes. There we see another network. Okay, one forwards again. This is another one. It's um, you know, it's similar, not identical, but it has similar properties. Now, of course, I could ask you to find a network where the number of nodes grows exponentially around a particular vertex uh, with more world properties, and that would basically be the same kind of project. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to make a coding project that only. 5% of the viewers can actually understand. Um, this is something that anybody can do as a browser. Just find three different rule numbers that make systems that look like this. Now, um, not including the systems I've shown you today. I mean other things which do it differently. Okay? If you do that, you get your network.